Hey guys, so today I'm going to be creating this makeup look that Ishwarya wore to the red carpet in Cannes this year. And the minute I saw this look, I was like, oh my god, I have exactly the same lip shade. So I really, really wanted to recreate this look for you guys. And it's just a very simple and easy makeup look to do, but it looks really glam and classy at the same time. So I really hope you like it. So as always, I'm starting off with the clean moisturized face. I'm taking my Pat Cosmetics Beauty Blender and I'm just kind of patting the foundation into the skin. And I think this sponge does a really good job in blending the foundation and making it look as natural as possible. So the foundation that I'm using today is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and all the product details shades everything will be mentioned down in the info box below so if you're interested to see what i'm using or what shade i'm in then please make sure to click on the description box so next it's time to highlight the face and today i'm using my maybelline fit me concealer and i'm just kind of applying that to all the high points of my face that is underneath my eyes on my cupid's bow on the sides of my nose on the bridge of my nose and also on the center of my forehead and you're gonna look a bit weird at the moment but don't worry about that because we're gonna be blending all of that concealer away with this little bad boy right here this is the mini beauty blending sponge by pack and oh my god i am absolutely obsessed with these mini beauty blenders because they do such an amazing job in blending the concealers and they're also really good for applying powder to set the concealer with and yeah they're also super affordable so you should definitely check these bad boys out so now moving on to the eyes first of all I'm taking my Maybelline the Muse palette and then taking this matte dark brown eyeshadow I'm just gonna be filling in my eyebrows like that I'm using my flat angled brush to do so and the next step is a very interesting trend that I noticed in the red carpet this year and to achieve that I'm just going to take my eyebrow mascara so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be sweeping my brows in an upward direction like that and I think so many celebrities were rocking this kind of a swept up brow look so you can use any normal eyebrow mascara that you have so next I'm taking max paint pot in the shade paint and I'm just going to prime my entire eyelids with that and I'm taking this lightest matte shade from the Maybelline Nudes palette and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids up to my brow bones so this is just going to uh, kind of even out my eyelids and make them look clean and bright and I'm taking this matte light brown or beige shade and I'm just going to apply that to the natural hollows of my eyes that is all over my crease area I don't really have a crease but anyone who doesn't have a crease can find your crease by just placing the brush on the hollows of your eyes and just going in with swiping motions so next I created that very long and very sleek winged eyeliner look like Ashwarya's and it was really hard for me to do it on camera so I went ahead and did it off camera but if you're interested to see a full tutorial on my perfect winged eyeliner look then I will leave one of my video links up there in the cards you can just click that and watch that video but as for now I'm just going to add some drama to the eyes by adding in some false eyelashes and once the eyelashes are done I'm just taking some of the black gel eyeliner and just going over any of the glue that is peeping through my lashes and then you want to blend your natural lashes with the false ones so that both of them merge and they look much more natural. Next I'm just running a nude pencil on my lower waterline and this is just going to brighten up the eyes and make the eyes look much more wider. And then I'm coating my lower lashes with some mascara as well. And I'm going to take the crease color again and just dusting that very lightly on the outer corners of my lower lash line. Yeah, just adding a little bit of shadow there. And then I'm taking the highlight shade and applying that to the inner corners of my eyes that is around the tear duct area of my eyes. 
Now to contour the hollows of my cheek, I'm taking the same matte dark brown eyeshadow and then using this flat contour brush by Pack Cosmetic, I'm just depositing the color underneath my cheekbones like this. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I'm going along my hairline and also around the temples of my forehead. Then taking this dome shaped kabuki brush, I'm just going to blend that harsh line away. And then I'm also going to take that contour and go along my jawline because I want that very chiseled jawline look. Next I'm also taking this smaller brush and contouring along the sides of my nose. Since Aishwarya didn't look like she had a lot of blush on, I'm just using this very subtle blush by NYX. This is called Pinched. Then comes the best part about this look, that is the lips. So first I'm starting off by lining my lips using this dark brown lip pencil by NYX. I'm creating that very sharp cupid's bow because Ashwarya's lips are very sharp and chiseled. And then as you can see I'm filling in the rest of my lips with the lip liner to intensify the lipstick that we're going to apply next. And for lipstick I'm using Chambord's Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Earthy Red. And this is a very very close dupe to what Ashwarya was wearing in the red carpet. I have no clue what lipstick she was wearing but it looks very very similar to this one. It's just a very deep burgundy brown sort of a shade. So now we're all done and I really really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please don't forget to like it and also share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out any more videos from me. I will see you all in my next one. Bye!